This is part 90 of SQL Server tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between union, intersect and accept operators in SQL Server with a few examples. The diagram here explains the differences much better. Notice we have got two circles here. The circle on the left represents the left query result set, whereas the circle on the right represents the right query result set. So if we apply a union operator between these two queries, the union operator is going to return the unique rows from both the left and the right query. The duplicate rows will not be included in the result set. Those duplicate rows will be removed. Whereas the union all operator is going to include the duplicates as well. Intersect operator is going to retrieve the common unique rows from both the left and the right query. Whereas the accept operator is going to return us the unique rows from the left query that are not there in the right query's results. Let's understand these differences with a few examples. So here we've got two tables, table A and table B. Notice both the tables have got same number and type of columns. If you look at the data, notice employee records with ID 2 and 3 are present in both the tables. And if you look at the employee record with ID 3, it's duplicated in table A. Now let's see what results we are going to get when we apply these different SQL Server operators. Let's flip over to SQL Server Management Studio. So when we execute this select query, we are going to get all the rows from table A. Now let's union that with ID name gender from table B. So when we execute this query, notice that we get all the rows from both the tables and we get only the unique rows. There are no duplicates present. Now if we apply union all operator, notice that we get the duplicates as well. Now let's see what's going to happen when we apply the intersect operator. When we apply the intersect operator, it should return us all the common unique rows from both the left and the right query. So instead of union all, let's use intersect. And notice we get the common rows. And records with ID 2 and 3 are present in both the tables. And look at that result set. The duplicates are not present. Now if we use the accept operator, this should give us all the rows that are present in table A, but not in table B. So when we execute this, notice that we sh will get only the record with ID equals 1 because that's the only row that's present in table A but not in table B. Now, for some reason, if we want the rows that are present in table B but not in table A, then we can achieve very easily by reversing these queries. So I want to select ID name gender from table B except ID name gender from table A. So when we execute this query, now we are going to get the row that is present in table B but not in table A. So if you look at this row with ID 4, that's the only row that's present in table B but not in table A. So for all these operators to work, there are two conditions both the left and right query should be meeting. And those two conditions are the order and the number of columns in both the queries should be same. And the other condition is the data types must be same or at least compatible. Now let's see what's going to happen if the number of columns are different between the left and right query. So when we execute this query, notice that we get an error saying all queries combined using a union, intersect, or accept operators must have an equal number of expressions in their target list. Thank you for listening and have a great day.